What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been a while since we last recorded something. Um, we've just been busy with life and took a vacation, which was much needed. But I wanted to let you guys know um, about a product that was sent over to me, Shine Armor. They actually sell this uh, Fortify Quick Coat. It's a wireless wash, shine and protect. So it's like a ceramic coating that can also clean the vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it step by step. Um, this wasn't like anything where they told me to go ahead and you know make sure that the product was good or whatever So it's gonna be an honest review um, Obviously my car is clapped so I'm only gonna do it on the best part that I have which is <laughs> the carbon fiber hatch So I put a tape here just because this is the side that I'm not gonna be touching and then this is the side I'm gonna spray the the fortified quick coat on and see what it does And then we're also gonna be moving on to my girlfriend's car over here As you guys can see this car is newer so it's got better paint so I'm gonna do it on the hood. And as you see here, this side is you know just as dirty as this is, and this one's pretty dirty as well. So we're gonna go ahead and spray it on this side and see the differences between um, the non side and the quick coat side. All right, so this is what they send you in the product. Uh, two nice microfiber towels, which is cool because honestly, like microfibers are always a plus. Um, they send you their bottle, and then they have their little sprayer here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all together, then uh, show you guys the walkthrough of how you go ahead and uh, apply this to your car. All right guys, so as you can see, both of the microfibers that they provided, you're gonna wanna keep one dry, and then you're gonna wanna damp one up. I'm gonna use some lovely Aquafina here, and then we're gonna go ahead and spray the product as well. It says damp, kind of wetted a lot, but it should be all right. So now that we got the damp rag, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shine armor, simply just spray it on there. They say you can spray it on the rag and then wipe it, or spray it on and then wipe it, but I'm gonna do both. And I really don't know how this is gonna be, guys, but might as well give it a shot. Since they wanted to work with us, might as well see what their product is all about. So once you finish wiping it, right, and you get it all pretty much where you want it, they say it's gonna haze up a little bit, and then that's when you come in with the dry microfiber, and you just wipe it down. looks significantly shinier than the other side right so like that's what we're working with over here and that's what we had over here might not be able to pick it up on camera but in person i definitely feel like there's a big difference and i mean that took what two minutes so it's probably a perfect thing to keep in your car if you're going to car shows you know track if you want to make your car look better easily i think it uh definitely cleaned it up well so now let's move on to the q50 and see how it does on that You definitely feel like the coating because everything is a lot like smoother. I mean, it's kind of hard to see a difference, especially in the daylight, but you definitely feel it. I do want to say that the Shine Armor Quick Coat definitely works well. 
However, it is one of those products that I really don't have much experience using in a sense that I've never really used any detailing products on my vehicle just because of how clapped it is. I maybe wash my car once a month, but I will say this is definitely one of the products that you want to keep inside of your car uh, just for a quick clean or if you're heading to a car show and you might have missed a spot and need to touch it up. This is definitely one of those products that works well for those applications. All right, guys. Well, I wasn't going to leave you hanging with just my review on my clapped out 350Z. So here we have Miguel's car, which obviously is a lot nicer than mine. So, uh, yeah, um, he has not washed this in, I don't know, five days, six days. It's been like two months. Like we got cobwebs. So I think this will definitely uh, work in the benefit of the shine armor. However, you know, like I said, it's one of those great products that you can just keep in your car and do it for like a quick touch up on your car before heading to a show, track, whatever it may be. So let's get into it. So as uh, Bozo was saying, we got some shining armor here. Uh, per the instructions, you're supposed to spray on into a clean uh, microfiber towel, uh, damp it up, clean it, and then clean it with a, a clean towel. So we'll give that a shot. As you've seen, this is uh, disgusting. So let's see what it does, you know? Damp it up, damp it up. And let's just get a little corner right here. It's looking nice, it's looking good. And then clean towel. So just look at the difference there. Yeah, that's what I mean guys. Like, look at how quick that was and look at the difference, you know? It's definitely one of those things, those quick applications, whatever it may be, whatever you're taking the car for. Like, you can clearly see that on camera. It looks like ashy over here and it's like perfect over here. You feel me? Like, look at the camera. But uh, yeah, definitely not a bad product. I Joy Savage. Joy Savage. guys well as you saw in the time lapse i've had these banners literally sitting in my garage for about four or five months so it was about time i wanted to go ahead and do it first time ever doing this kind of stuff uh <laughs> i'm definitely proud of what we did because for the first time it's actually not that bad obviously it always gets better just as the more you do it um but overall i mean looks pretty good obviously this is just the back uh ground i am going to put a sleepless performance um, pretty much emblem brand whatever you want to call it um, right there in the center so you'll see that in the next time lapse guys so gave the car a little wash looks pretty good finished up the banner okay good pretty fresh can't complain so uh next thing we're gonna be doing i'm just gonna pull it into the garage i got some basic maintenance i need to do on the car um some oil change i gotta fix a couple sensors stuff like that so i'm gonna set you guys up on a little tripod get a little time lapse going and uh fix some stupid little things that you know I've been taking forever to fix so time to do it now alrighty guys so as you can see here uh, this is an oil temp sensor 
All right, that's what mine look like. And this is what it's supposed to look like. And then this is the oil pressure sensor. And this is what it's supposed to look like. So yeah, one day cruising, I, I hit something on the highway and I think it fucked these up. So it is what it is, but we're gonna just go ahead and slap those in real quick, make sure that there's no leaks. And then we'll just fill up the car with oil, give it a good start and make sure everything's Gucci. All right guys, just got those sensors installed. Gonna start it up fresh after an oil change. the sensor plugged in but it's good now good now all right guys well there you have it for this video um as you saw car's good just did a fresh oil change fixed those sensors that have been a long time coming they definitely needed to get replaced uh, car's good car's running good um just to few more little things that i'm probably gonna do just maintenance wise to get it ready for the dyno um because as you guys hear when i cold started and like drivability after doing like the uh ported plenums and the ported throttle bodies like the car runs good you know when you're on it but drivability is kind of annoying and like i love driving this car so like to not have it drivable you know comfortably in a sense of like just normal street driving normal you know cruising it's definitely annoying so uh, gonna go ahead and hopefully uh, schedule that dyno day with Martin so we can get the car dialed and then uh, go from there But that's gonna do it for this episode guys. Thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe as always peace out. See you guys in the next one